Fishing News is brought to you by Navionics, Okuma, Yozuri, Evinrude, Lama Glass, and the Star Island Yacht Club in Montauk, New York. Hey there, Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's web video fishing forecast for New England. Well, as you can see, I'm here alongside my Old Town Predator PDL, uh, which finally <laughs> has gotten rigged and ready to go after a combination of bad weather, uh, plain old being busy, and a few other things prevented me from getting it out on the water sooner. As you remember, I introduced this boat, uh, geez, back in August, uh, but fortunately now it is all rigged, loaded up, ready to go. Uh, thanks in no small part to guys from Humminbird, uh, Old Town, Yak Light, Yak Attack. They all hooked me up with a few different items here uh, for the boat. And what you're going to see over the next couple of weeks, I'm still working on editing it all, but you're going to see a bit of a kayak rigging video series coming out. It's going to show you how you can take any, really any stock kayak, in this case obviously the Predator PDL from Old Town, but you can take any kayak and take it from a stock boat to an absolutely amazing fishing machine. And I finally got it wet this week. Finally got it out. Obviously it rained on it a little bit prior, but got it out on the water. Um, did a little bit of fishing. Started out targeting some black fish. Uh, that was my plan, I should say. But unfortunately I ran into a little bit of a hitch uh, with the anchor that I had set up. Wasn't able to quite get locked in the way I wanted to, but uh, as fate would have it, as I was setting up, albies started popping all around me. And of course, this time of the year, I always have an albie rod with me when I'm going for blackfish. So I pulled the anchor in, stashed it away, switched gears, started casting for the albies. I chased them around for a good two hours. There was fish feeding the entire time. I, uh, I hooked and, and dropped, unfortunately, three of them definitely were albies, I saw them, um, but I, I didn't end up landing any of them, but I did get the first fish on the boat, which is a small schoolie striper, followed by another little striper and a bluefish. So I almost, on the first trip on the boat, had a uh, nice slam put together, but nonetheless, those two different species uh, checked off on the boat already, and I plan to get out some more in the coming weeks. Obviously gonna figure that blackfish deal out on this, um, and speaking of blackfish, the season kicked off last week in Connecticut, as I, as I told you in last week's video, uh, following suit with, with the good fishing we've had in Rhode Island and Massachusetts, as their season is already open. Now, we started off with a bit of windy, rainy weather for the season. Nonetheless, the bite has been very good. There's um, one thing there's been a lot more numbers than size. Um, I fished on Monday for a few hours, and it was primarily 12 to like... Uh, 17 inch fish for the most part lots of them though um, but fortunately on the boat for the day we had two big fish one night I got a little bit over seven and another guy on the boat got one almost eight pounds it was still in the seven pound class still a nice fish nonetheless um, one thing we did note while they were feeding on you know they were taking anything green crabs and all cut green crabs etc on the jigs Asian crabs did seem to have a little bit of an edge. What I was doing is I was putting a nice size uh, Asian on the jig and then tipping it with a smaller one. It, if nothing else, gives a little better presentation or bigger presentation, excuse me, a little more life down there. And if they do happen to nip, nip at it and take one, you've got that backup bait and the fish is charged up and it was producing quite well. Got a, a, I lost track of how many fish I caught. Um, Obviously, I only kept my limit of three keepers myself, but I think I must have boated probably six at least, I'd say, on the day with a load of shorts. A really good time. Um, following along with the Blackfish opener last week, we had the sixth annual Tog Tobert tournament presented by Black Hall Outfitters. Um, and they, it, it wasn't just a Connecticut uh, uh, tournament. They had anglers from outside of the Nutmeg State. We had mass anglers, Rhode Island anglers came down. They even had world record blackfish holder Ken Westerfeld participated in the tournament. So it's a great event, once again, put on by the guys from Black Hall. Um, similar to what I had on, on Monday, there wasn't a lot of really big fish caught. I don't think they had any double digits weighed in, but they had a lot of action for everybody uh, that participated. And in the end, King of the Tog crown went to angler Scott Schneider. He had a three fish total of 24.26 pounds, comprised of his three fish weighing 7.63, 8, and 8.63 pounds. Big congrats to Scott. That is uh, no small feat being a kayak guy beating out everybody else. So congrats on the big win. Definitely look forward to next year and with any luck, I'll be getting out there as well and participating myself because it was tough not being able to get in on the action this year. But hey, next year we shall see.
And then moving up the coast into Rhode Island, the Seven Bs ran their first dedicated blackfish trip of the year um, on Tuesday. They had some very good results uh, all, all around the boat. And as you know, the season has been open around for a few weeks, but as of the 15th, the fish, the per angler fish limit went up to five fish per man. And they had a full boat limit on that first trip. So that is good sign of things to come. One thing to note, however, in Massachusetts, as well as Rhode Island, there is a 10 fish limit on blackfish, regardless of the number of anglers on board. So if you're fishing on a private boat and you got 10 people, you can each only keep one. If you've got one, obviously you can only keep your five, but maximum retained limit on private boats, Massachusetts and Rhode Island is 10 fish. Of course, this does not apply to four hires, charity boats, party boats, etc. This is just on the private boat limit. So be sure you're on top of all the regulations. And of course, all the regulations are posted at thefisherman.com from Maine through the Mid-Atlantic. So you can get um, keep track of everything that's going on regardless of where you're fishing. And of course, heard from TJ Kopecki this week. And unfortunately, he was uh, unable to put a video together for us, probably because he was doing so much fishing. Um, he wanted to say, though, however, he sent an email. He said that there's still some really good fishing over in the East Bay. Black fishing is excellent in the uh, Warren and Barrington Rivers. He was out on Sunday morning with a buddy of his, and in just about two hours, they landed their, um, between the two of them, their, their full limit. That's three keepers each, as well as a bunch of small shorts that they threw back. That's some really good action from shore, nonetheless. Sorry, you had a turkey running through the back here. Not sure if you are able to catch that. Um, he also noted that, that there were some schoolies working some small bait in the river while he was there. And the um, Coles River in Swansea has some slightly bigger fish at dawn and dusk on the striped bass at least. Um, they've been fishing, f feeding on the loads of bait that's around there. Also said Malthus's Connet River has got albies and for the freshwater anglers, he said that the RIDEM has completed their stocking with all of the locations they stocked noted at the DEM website. And that leads me to another note on trout stocking all across southern New England. It's going on right now. Mass, Rhode Island, Connecticut. We have the big fall push of fish getting dumped in there. And I've got a full rundown of what you can expect, where to find it, as well as the links to each state's stocking websites right now at thefisherman.com. We've got all the details all in one place. You can find it regardless of which state you're planning and heading out. And like I said, they, are, they have been busy for a couple of weeks now dumping thousands of trout around, which not only is really good now, but it helps to carry us over through the winter where the season is open. And also of note for Connecticut anglers, they've been dropping a bunch of those broodstock Atlantic salmon in the, uh, let's see, the Naugatuck and Chetucket rivers. Um, this is a great opportunity to get in on some fish you might not otherwise have a chance to, but one item to note, there are special gear restrictions, single in, single hooks, barbless, and so on, as well as seasons on catch and release, as well as retention. They're very specific to different parts of those river systems. So make sure you know the regulations. Again, that link at thefisherman.com has link over to the Connecticut DEP's website with all of that information. You do not want to get caught taking a fish or using the wrong gear as, as with any species. All right, well, there you have it. It's pretty much dominated by blackfish right now, as you can see, because that is the big thing on everyone's mind across New England. But if you want to target other species this weekend, be sure to start off your trip by visiting thefisherman.com. Win the incredible Steigercraft, Evinrude Lowrance Grand Prize Boat Package, and more in the Fisherman's 2019 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Get the details now at thefisherman.com.